Are the shorter sailings on the large Oasis class even worth your time and money? Hey, hey, y'all, who's ready for more cruising fun? It's the last part of our four night Utopia sailing, and we have so much more to show you. We'll show you the exclusive parade only for the four night sailing. Then, Abed's Revenge Tour continues and takes on a new target, the zip line. We'll finally get to explore the ship on our first sea day. Will we find the ocean and more on this recess? You know what time it is. It's recess time. <sighs> I am nervous. I'm doing the zip line. I think Chris said he's gonna do it too, so. Are you gonna do it? I think I'm gonna do it. Don't be nervous, you got this. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's fine. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. I guess you could say this is part of the revenge tour. This is certainly something that in the past, based off my size, my weight, I wouldn't have been able to, you know, fit on. So I'm gonna count this as part of the revenge tour because I've always wanted to do a zip line just by the time my weight ballooned and I had the opportunities, I couldn't do it anymore. So this is part of the revenge tour. Well, the zip line may not be open. Was I saved by technicality? I really, now I wanna do it. Now that I can't do it again, what is it about not being able to do something suddenly you really wanna do it? Well, well, what time is it now? 12.40. Oh, okay, 20 minutes. So another doppelganger of mine, huh? They have these, how many of these do they have? Because- I don't know, I think he's like the unofficial mascot of Utopia, he's everywhere. So he's got a surfboard, he's ready to ride the flow rider. All right, the zip line opens at one o'clock. We're here a little bit early, so might just have to wait around a little bit. For those of you wondering, there are a few rules to the zip line. They have a height measurement requirement right here for you to make sure that you're tall enough. They also weigh you before you go on the zip line to make sure that you meet the weight requirement. I believe it's 275 pounds. Check the website though, just to make sure, but they do weigh you right here. You can't wear any loose articles of clothing. It all has to be dry. You have to wear like t-shirts with sleeves. You have to wear shorts or pants and closed toed shoes. And you can't wear anything like around your neck or in your pockets. So pretty strict because they all harness you up and you are zip lining over the boardwalk. So you're pretty high up. Safety first, y'all. I'm excited. I think it's going to be pretty cool. It doesn't look super long and I don't think you go super fast, but a zip line is a zip line and you're hanging on way, way, way above the boardwalk. So it's going to be scary regardless. For some perspective, we are on deck 16. There's the basketball court and that is where I will land. There's a zip line, goes all the way right there. And we are on deck 16. So right down there is the boardwalk. I mean, I don't know about y'all. But that's pretty intense. I'm nervous, y'all. But first up, a bed's revenge tour. I'm counting it as revenge because I wasn't able to do zip lines in the past, and now I can. So we're adding this another victim to Abed's revenge list. And I just got really nervous because I just realized the employee just went over there. And it's time. But uh, all right, wish me luck. How are you feeling? Very nervous. Yeah, uh, Santiago's got me. The stuff here's got it's me. It's my first day. It's my first time. Oh, look, she said it's five. All right. I got it five times. Five times. All right. All right. So I got this then. So like riding a bike. In the nothingness. <laughs> riding a bike into nothingness. Whew. It sells itself. They got to weigh you with all the equipment. Make sure you don't exceed. Oh yeah, all right, glasses. That might be better, so I don't see anything. All right, you triple check then, we're good? It's cool, they actually equip you with a camera, so you get uh, some footage of your terrified face as you go over the boardwalk. There, how was it? That was uh, actually not that bad. Right. You'll be fine. All I'm right. lying to you. All right, y'all. I'm all harnessed up. Uh, let me go return the equipment and give you my final thoughts. You have to go back to return everything. But what do we think? Don't look. All right. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. I just conquered another one on Abed's Revenge List. The zip line here on Utopia of the Seas, which I think is a staple on Oasis class ships. 
I gotta say was so much fun. Now when you're up there, it is terrifying. The, once you're harnessed in, like once you feel the harness on you and the helmet, like it becomes real. And then you go up there and you step down, there's two steps and you start breathing heavy and it just becomes so real. But then you take a moment, just kind of lean back and it catches you. It, essentially you're in a seat, right? And you're connected up top and you've got safety upon safety, redundancy upon redundancy. So honestly, everything went away and he was like, whenever you're ready, they were super nice. Santiago set me up, the whole crew here. And then you just go. They don't push you, you just go. And initially I thought, oh my God, this is gonna be so frightening. I'm dangling over the boardwalk. But honestly, I think I'm gonna do it again. Chris, you're gonna love it. I, I give this a five out of five experience. All right, I had to spit out my gum. No glasses on this, I'm ready. Chris, how was it? That was fun. Five out of five. That's so much fun. It's not scary at all. That's you got to do it, and it's free. Come on. I'm about to do this for the second time because they're actually piloting a new camera system here on Utopia of the Seas for the zipline, kind of similar to Icon, where you have like a little GoPro. The first time we did it, I was not looking at the camera because I was too scared. But after doing it one time, I want to make sure that like the camera gets me. That's not a good motion. Um, I want to make sure that the camera gets me. I just did it again. Yeah. I want to make sure that I look at the camera so the video comes out better, all right? So I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> time number two is just as good and I actually looked at the camera this time so I'm excited to see how that comes out. Yeah, do you recommend it? Yeah, of course. It's free. It's awesome. Maybe come do it when there's like not a long line because it is like really short, uh, the experience. But you know what? It's worth it. Like I said, you're not paying anything extra. So it's kind of a cool thing that they have on a cruise ship. We can you say that you've ziplined on a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean. If you're enjoying this video from Utopia of the Seas, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and maybe even a subscribe. It's free and it really helps the channel out. Thank you so much. All right, I have to get a drink after conquering another item on Ovid's revenge list, that zip line. So I got Rye Runner, ingredients up on the screen, bam, just like magic. Honestly, this smells amazing. This one is not bitter. It is just sweet. It's fruity, punchy. Rye in here, like, really works with the fruit. I gotta say, I thought I liked the Pretty Bird more, but I think I think this one did. I think the Rye Runner is now my favorite drink at Pesky Parrot until the next drink at Pesky Parrot. That's just how this works, apparently. All right, so the Queen's Park Swizzle is basically a mojito. And I gotta say, it comes with the fresh mint and, mm, that smells so good. And it's got the crushed ice. So the crushed ice is a nice touch. Not only does it have the crushed ice, because it's so cold, the glass is frosty. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a nice touch. Plus it looks gorgeous, right? You have the muddled mint in the bottom, the drink, the ice on top. It's very aesthetic and it's good. We decided to stop by the Pesky Parrot after the zip line. The drinks were great. Honestly, everything that we had was fantastic. My last drink, I joked that it wasn't great, but honestly, it tasted great. It was a banana, banana flavored drink. Almost like banana slash rum chata. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but tasty. Honestly, there hasn't been a single drink I haven't liked at Pesky Parrot. The best drink is the next drink. So if you're coming on Utopia, just to know that the best drink at Pesky Parrot is gonna be the next one. So just get another one. All right, y'all, the Effectors Homecoming Parade is about to start here on Utopia of the Seas. When we were on the three night cruise, we missed it, but we decided we gotta carve out time. So we added it to the agenda. Let's see what this is all about. Apparently they're back and they've got some sort of original cast of characters of superheroes and bad guys. <laughs>
right, that parade was so good. Both parades, both on Icon and Utopia, have been so good. The amount of production they put into it, they get the cast from all of their other shows, like the Eye Show and the Aqua Show and the main theater show, and they're all part of this. The music was great, the production was great. It was really funny, like, Crash and Burn, the villains of this story, apparently they didn't do their mustard drill, so they got kicked off the ship. So that goes to show, you gotta do your mustard drill. Not even super villains are free of the mustard drill. So, no, it was really fun. Don't miss the parade. I think it's only on four night sailings on Utopia. So we got lucky we got to see it. The next morning. Morning, y'all. Meeting Chris for breakfast at Park Cafe at Central Park. It's our first time trying it here in Utopia. I am so hungry. All right, good morning. We are finally at Park Cafe here at Central Park for breakfast. It's a grab and go spot and they have so many different options. They have hot sandwiches, they have a bagel bar, they have parfaits, they have pastries. So it's a really good spot if you don't wanna wait in a long line or deal with the hustle and bustle of the buffet. Just come to Central Park and Park Cafe is here for your needs, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They have options for all three, but we're here for breakfast. Can you believe it? We're on like day number six of being on Utopia of the Seas and we're finally on a sea day. The men and I are so excited. We love sea days. We're gonna go up on the top deck, finally get to see the ocean and just sail around a little bit. You know, between Nassau and Coco Cay is not that far. So I think it's gonna be a nice leisurely ride over to Coco Cay today. And we're excited. We're gonna do a lot of stuff around the ship. Sea days are just so much fun, but we decided to stop here in Park Cafe to grab a bite to eat before we hit the ship. We got some good options, you guys. Um, let's try this cute little burrito, because it's adorable. Yeah, so it's like an egg, sausage, and cheese. Okay, so a sausage, egg, and cheese burrito. It's bean and cheese burrito, not egg, not uh, sausage. What are we thinking? That wasn't sausage, those were beans. Oh my God. <laughs> Classic bean and cheese burrito. This is so simple, yet so good. I gotta give it a four out of five. This is really, really good. It could use maybe some hot sauce. I didn't see any hot sauce, but that's really all it's missing. But it's a solid choice. The royal version of the Egg McMuffin. I love me a good Egg McMuffin. Canadian bacon, fried egg, cheese, American cheese at that, and then a toasted English muffin. All right, so I had that bite. It was just a little dry, so I added, you know, just some mayonnaise to that. Because I feel like it needs it. But without the sauce, it would be a three out of five. Added some mayo, just to add a little richness to it too. Yeah. Even with the mayo, it doesn't elevate it that much. I'll give it a three and a half out of five overall. Your basic hotel hot breakfast sandwich, right? The ham is good, the egg is cooked well, the cheese is good. I just wanted a quick breakfast and then just kind of move on with the day. So it's funny, here in Central Park, they actually pipe in bird and cricket noises. <laughs> it's broad daylight in the middle of the day and you hear crickets. I think that works a little bit more to set the ambiance when it's dark and it's night outside. I don't know, do you hear crickets during the daytime? We usually don't, but it is a nice little touch that they pipe in these sounds to make you feel like you're actually outside in a park. All right, Chris decided we are walking, so we are out here on the walking track. Last time we were on Icon, I did a half marathon because Chris forced me to. <laughs> and Okay, first off, stop lying. You didn't do a half marathon. We did like two laps around the track. I don't think Icon is that big. All right, go back and watch those videos and you will see Wow, the ocean. How come they, ha okay. I feel like they hid the ocean on the walking track. This is actually a really cool area. It's just like hidden on the walking track. You have places to sit, you have shuffleboard, ping pong. This is neat with giant windows that open to the ocean. This is really cool. This is why we love sea days because you actually get to see the ocean. This isn't a criticism. One thing that we have noticed that's different from Icon to Utopia of the Seas is just like there are less windows the Icon of the Seas had those giant windows right by the Pearl and the Pearl Cafe for you to look out. I feel like there were more windows for you to see the ocean from the promenade. On the Oasis class, on Utopia of the Seas, you just don't get that. So you kind of feel a little bit disconnected from the water. But man, it's, it's good to see the ocean again. This is why we go cruising. Guys, am I a shuffleboard champion? I don't know. <laughs> this is really cool though. I like this. We, we might have to come back out and hang out here more. Yeah, I agree with Chris. This is what I've been missing, a sea day, but in general, the ocean. 
Like there is the ocean on this cruise, right? Because I will say this again, this isn't criticism. It's just like my experience. I feel like I've been just living in a mall uh, for the past like five days versus being on a cruise ship. And there's that feeling of like just being indoors the entire time. And you have access to the ocean. Obviously, we could go up to the Lido or the pool decks. You can see everything from those decks when you're outside. It is nice to be able to like connect to the outside from the inside parts too. And I think that's what Abed is saying. Obviously, if we wanted to see the ocean, we could just go to the top decks and like hang out there. But sometimes you want to just be able to chill at a restaurant and like look out a window and see the ocean or be drinking in a bar and look out a window and see the ocean. I don't know. Maybe that's why we're always at the pesky parrot on this cruise because they have those like fake windows that look out and you can see the water. Comment down below. Are you port day or sea day? And then when do you prefer your sea days? Typically on a seven night cruise, sometimes you'll get them back to back, like two sea days in a row. I prefer mine at the end of the cruise, not the beginning. But comment down below, what is your preference when you cruise? Dang, Abed, did you see? We've already walked five miles. It even says so right here. So on the walking track, when you get to the aft of the ship, you can actually see the Aqua Theater. This is so cool to be able to see the Aqua Theater. You can see the abyss, the climbing wall from this perspective. Now I kind of regret like this is the second to last day and we just found this, but this is so cool. If you're coming on Utopia, this may be a staple uh, for Oasis class ships, but again, this is our first one. So we're exploring and figuring things out, but this is really neat. All right, we're here on the boardwalk at the Aqua Theater. They're doing the world's sexiest man competition. It's a free staple. It's a tradition. And it's weird that they're doing it here and not at the pool, but it's kind of more of a spectacle out here. But my question is this. They're having the world's sexiest man competition. Abed, why are you still here? Why are you down there? All right, I don't know what we just watched. That was like Magic Mike. More like Magic Mark. That was really funny. It's a good time. I'm glad they moved it to the Aqua Theater because it kind of made it into more of a spectacle. The audience was participating. It was a lot of fun. Check it out. It's a fun, it's family friendly. They made sure not to make it like too X-rated so you can bring your kids to it. But it was a good time. I enjoyed it. They have a carousel that actually works here on the boardwalk. You gotta ride it. Come on. It takes you back to being a little kid. That's so much fun. All right, we made it back to our cabin. We're about to get changed. We're not getting changed. I gotta go to the bathroom. We're about to head back up for some water slide action, but we came back to our towel animal of the day, and I think it's Baby Yoda. Is that a little Grogu? I'm gonna say it's a Grogu because it looks like a Grogu. That's so cute, right? Comment down below. Isn't this Grogu? If it's not, I don't know what it is. Decided to just kind of freshen up a little bit because I'm gonna do the slides. Some of y'all may not know this, but on this channel, uh, I've gone through a weight loss journey and I'm getting revenge on the rides and the experiences that I was denied when I was much bigger. You can check those out on this channel. We documented my weight loss surgery as well. So go back and check that out if you're curious about what that was like. But here on Utopia of the Seas, it is a sea day. And I feel like it's tradition on a sea day to do the water slides. But I haven't been able to in the past. Again, I've just exceeded that weight limit. So Abed's revenge tour continues, and it is slide time, y'all. All right, y'all, it's a sea day here on the four night sailing, and there are four pools, slides, and the pool deck is just busy. Everyone is out getting some sun. It is so much fun. So if you are interested in doing the slides, I would say even the pools, sea day is gonna be super busy, but you know what? That's fun. Everyone's excited, the sun's out, it feels great. It's been raining the last few days, nothing crazy but getting that vitamin D, activating it. And now I'm going after that orange toilet bowl slide. It looks so cool. There's even clear glass on the slide. So I guess when you're in it, other people can see you and you can see out. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to focus on that. So I guess time will tell, but enough chit chat, slide time. crazy um that was much faster than i was expecting 
then that toilet bowl scared me. I was holding onto my glasses because you can't have your glasses. And then I almost went down head first, which they clearly said was more dangerous. So I freaked out and had to like readjust, to make sure I didn't go down head first. But that splash in the end was massive. I think it was my flipper feet. I just, it was a big, almost tsunami wave. But yeah, highly recommend that. That's another one on Abed's Revenge List. The list is getting smaller and smaller, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll find something else. All right, y'all, we're gonna have dinner at Izumi Hibachi here in Central Park, which is also where our room is because we have a Central Park balcony. I gotta say the vibes at night, it makes more sense because the crickets, cricket noise is still going on with the lights and the live music and just everything about Central Park with all the greenery. This is honestly one of my favorite parts of the two royal ships that we've been on, Icon and now Utopia. This is so awesome. Can't wait for tonight's dinner. We're having dinner with some friends. And oh, looky, looky, look who I found. All right, tonight for dinner, we're here at Azumi. We're doing the hibachi experience. They've actually added more hibachi tables here on Utopia of the Seas to make this one of the largest, if not the largest, Azumi hibachis at sea. We've eaten Azumi before for the omakase a couple of nights ago, which was absolutely fabulous. Now we're gonna do a little teppanyaki. Got seated here at Azumi hibachi, really excited. Chris and I haven't done hibachi in a while. We do have them in Austin. We have Benihana and some others, but menu here looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna do the premier combo. You pay a flat fee. It's either $59.99 or $64.99. I think we were upsold. I think we're doing the premier. And I think I want origami. And I'm not talking about the folded paper airplanes and stuff. I think I'm gonna do the geisha. It's New York strip steak and chicken, which sounds awesome and I'll get a little vegetable fried rice as a starter, and maybe a dessert to finish up the meal, who knows? You get a mixed green salad with ginger dressing, and then the vegetable fried rice. The fried rice is prepared by the chef on the hibachi, so we haven't gotten that yet, but we did get the mixed green salad. It's all right, it's good. It's your basic salad with iceberg lettuce, tomato, cucumber, and a nice citrusy ginger dressing. Oil, what I use my art, I have here. Smiley face, ah, oh, is that All right, this one is Japanese, emoji, emoji, guys, sorry. Small oh, I have your fresh eggs, all the way from New Jersey. All right, And you're from LA, Los Angeles. All right, let it bring your garlic here. All right, right, they smell the garlic now, smells good. Oh wait, that's not the garlic, that's my perfume. Sorry, I smell garlic every night. All right, buddy, one more. Rolling, yeah. Rolling, yeah. Two, three, four. Oh, Japanese ping pong. Oh, wow. Oh, higher. Oh, oh, very hard day. See that? Very hard day. Woohoo! Oh, oh. Homer, bend the back. Homer, here. Oh, see that? And one more here. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, that's very hard. Oh, 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 Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, come over here. Oh, all right, very good. <laughs> all right, very good. This is my friend. Hey, her name is Anna. Oh. Anna Konda. Hello. <laughs> is it me you're looking for? Listen the song for the broken hearted. It's my world. Right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, no pressure, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, I got it. All right, y'all, we got our fried rice. The presentation's amazing. I'm not gonna eat too much because I have to pace myself, but I haven't, I've been wanting this for so long. Can't remember the last time I had fried rice. Oh my God. Love rice so much. It's perfect. So good. All right, let's try this steak. Got it medium rare. Got some veggies to go with it. Let's go. Wow, that is so tender. So juicy. 
That steak is amazing. Really well seasoned. Buttery. Five out of five. That's awesome. All right, everything here has been so good. I got the chicken and the steak. Both were awesome. Five out of five for both. The yum yum sauce. Put that on everything. Hello, the yum yum sauce was absolutely phenomenal. The rice, so good. That might have been my favorite part of the whole meal. So garlicky and so buttery. But can we talk about these desserts? The mochi was delicious, making me excited to go to Japan. And that chocolate lava cake that we got, I don't know what we got on Icon, but it was not bad. The one that we got on Icon of the Seas wasn't good. This lava cake was really, really good. It was a lot more lava than it was cake, but I mean, I'm not mad at that. The chocolate was super rich and the cake was really nice. It was just really decadent and a little bit too decadent almost to eat the whole thing, but I'm not complaining. Everything here has been so, so good. We've really had a great time here at Izumi Hibachi. All right, yo, Izumi was absolutely delicious. I gotta say, probably my favorite hibachi experience, land or sea. It's the first time we've had it at sea. We'll have to try it on Carnival Jubilee. We cruised that in a couple weeks again, yes. But I gotta say, the chef was so fun, so engaging, hilarious. The, the service uh, was phenomenal. I gotta say, they you know, took great care of us. I know it's the inaugural, like second sailing, but they have their stuff together, if you know what I mean. Like sometimes things are a bit rocky, but the food was great. I ordered the scallops and the lobster. Apparently I'm a lobster boy now. So buttery, so delicious. I gotta give that a five out of five. Mochi was my dessert of choice. Chris and I are going to Japan, so I decided to get mochi for dessert. So good, I've always been hesitant to get mochi, but I really enjoyed that. I'm also gonna give that five out of five. Overall, this dining experience was so fun. Not a bad price either, $65 for that upgrade. And I got lobster and scallops. All right, y'all, we are about to set sail from Coco Cay. We had a blast. This is our second time here on these back-to-back -back cruises. I gotta say, it is one of our favorite private islands now. Granted, we've only been to three. We've done Half Moon, which is carnivals, and we've done Castaway, which is Disney's. Now, there's so much going on with all of the different cruise lines, and they're building more and more of these. Carnival next year is building Celebration Key, K-E-Y, so that should be interesting. But tonight is the last night here on Utopia of the Seas for a four night cruise. Chris and I are gonna try to fit in everything that we can, anything that we've missed. But I mean, just take a look at this view. We filmed the second half of our video, which is our beach club battle on Coco Cay. During the three night, we did Coco Beach Club. And then on the four night cruise, we did Hideaway. And who will win? Which beach club will reign supreme? Make sure you're subscribed. Check out that video. We will show you both and give you our thoughts. The last night on any cruise is always, honestly, the most exhausting and the one where you're honestly sad. Like, you're both sad and tired. You do kind of want to go home, but you also don't. Uh, Chris and I, again, are, we got to figure out what we're going to do tonight for dinner. We really don't have plans, but we're not as sad to go back to Port Canaveral because we're going to Disney World at least for two days. We're gonna be staying at the Poly. We haven't been to Disney World in a while. We are AP holders. Not sure if we're gonna renew just because we live in Austin, Texas and we don't always get an opportunity to go. All right, looks like they lowered the lines and that means we should be pushing off any any moment now. Gotta push off the pier. We're docked next to Harmony of the Seas which actually sails from Texas. Chris and I are thinking about sailing it. They only have seven nights sailing, then it's just, it's hard for Chris to get seven days off. I knew those ship lines were really heavy. I don't know the technical term for them, but it takes three people to remove the line. Like that's how heavy they are. Three people to lift them. That's crazy. Well, well, well. Look who decided to join us for Sail Away. Yep, just walking against the grain on the track. Chris, what up? This is where Jack and Rose met. On the back? Yeah, in the half. half. Just like that, he gets me back on the track, right? He's really trying to get me to exercise <laughs> on this cruise, y'all. It's the only way to get to the aft of the ship where we wanted to do the sail away, so. It's a boat. It's a ship. It's a boat. How dare you? 
How dare you? Y'all, please forgive us if we ever, you know, call it a boat. You know, we're human. We make mistakes. We are. And we do. Ready, ready for the camera. <laughs> Well, you haven't been looking hard enough. You've been at the bar too many times, yeah. man. Congratulations. Yeah. Three at once. Love that. Indeed, indeed. Nice to see you again. What can I say? I love a new ship. today one of my elevated classics this guy all right that's the second time we've caught the piano player on this cruise that's so much fun he just pops up randomly you don't know where he's gonna be so it's always a fun time when you come across him <laughs> watch in the branch no don't you worry i'll do the research another round please all right, the menu here at the Pesky Parrot. I love it, it's like a little wheel. You can turn it, look at all the drinks. This has quickly become our favorite bar here on Utopia of the Seas. I'm gonna miss it. We love tiki bars. We went to one in Austin called Tiki Tatsuya. If you're interested in that, we also went to some other viral restaurants. Join our membership. We call it the Random Fandom. You'll get exclusive members only videos, early access to all our videos and much more. We definitely want to build a fun community where everyone can have a great time. Plus it helps the channel out. If that's not your style, not something you're interested in, consider subscribing, that's free, and it helps the channel grow. All right, I got the pesky peanut butter pina colada made with a screwball whiskey, peanut butter whiskey. And I don't know, I don't know about a peanut butter pina colada, you guys, but let's give it a taste. It's our last night here on the cruise. I had to try it. Oh my god. Okay, that's really good. Tastes like a regular pina colada with a hint of peanut butter at the very end. And I'm not mad at it. It's a little bit sweet. You get that peanut butter finish. The pina colada flavor is there. That's a really good drink and it's super smooth. You can't really taste like the alcohol in it. I gotta give this a five out of five. This is freaking awesome. Honestly, that's super dangerous if you love peanut butter. All right, so I got the taste of the tropics. I gotta say, uh, I haven't tried this one yet and I just realized it's frozen. I'm not really doing straws at the moment. I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to use a straw uh, because of my surgery, but it's so hard to eat a... <laughs> it sounds weird. It's so hard to eat a frozen drink without a straw. It's so hard to drink a frozen drink without a straw. I don't know but I'm just, I'm kind of just nibbling at the top. But either way, this is really good. I highly recommend it. Frozen or not, every drink here has been good. This is a five out of five. My favorite drink here is Pretty Bird. If you're coming on Utopia, make sure to check that out. Tag us on Instagram if you end up trying it or here on YouTube on this video, but one of the best drinks. We're back in the boardwalk for dinner. We decided we wanted just something quick and easy for dinner tonight. We just weren't, interested in a big production. After seven days at sea, we've had some amazing meals, but I just wanted a burger, y'all. All right, we're here at Johnny Rockets, and we're here for dinner. And if you've never been here for dinner, it is an extra charge. Breakfast was free, but dinner and lunch are an extra charge. So you pay a cover charge and you're able to get unlimited starters, so fries and onion rings, and they have different type of fries too, like chili cheese fries or bacon cheese fries, those sound good. And then you can get a burger and a sandwich, and then if you have the beverage package like we do, you can get a milkshake. So I think we're definitely gonna have to do a milkshake, right, Abit? Uh, well, mine brings all the boys to the yard, so damn right. This is the biggest weekend ever. They've got DJs everywhere and all this stuff, but I have to say, between breakfast and now coming to Johnny Rockets for dinner, this is the best playlist, best soundtrack on the ship. Like, this is the second time we've eaten here for dinner now, and... They're playing the jams. Personally, uh, they need to move this playlist to the pool. Chris, we decided to have a light dinner. What's up? So light. What's up with that? So light. Listen, we decided to get a light dinner, something easy. Mm -hmm. I decided to go super healthy. I got bacon cheese fries. That's essentially just a salad, um, which is cool. Then I got a double cheeseburger with jalapenos and bacon again. So I'm getting my protein and my vegetables. So proud of me, be proud of me. And I had to top it off with a chocolate shake. That, that's my one indulgence, okay? All right, our food got here and it honestly looks really good. I'm excited. Oh yeah, it's the cheese sauce with the bacon. Those fries are awesome. This is exactly what I wanted. Just, just some junk food. <laughs> Yo, look how juicy this is. 
It's just dripping. Juicy burger. So I got a double cheeseburger with bacon and jalapenos. I don't know how I'm gonna attack it, but let's go. Whatever special sauce they put on there too, it's really good. I bet you're gonna love it because it's like, I think it's a ketchup based sauce, but very good burger. Super juicy patties, melty cheese, great toppings. Is it as good as a guy's burger? Not quite, but it is very good. It's probably one of the better burgers I've had on Royal Caribbean. Maybe the best burger I've had on Royal Caribbean. Maybe even better than Pier 7 on Icon of the Seas, dare I say it. All right, it's time to do the onion ring test here at Johnny Rockets. What is the onion ring test? Well, Abed and I have a test for onion rings where you take a bite, just one bite, and you pull. And if the onion comes out of the onion ring, it failed the test. So, let's see. All right, it passed. They did not pull out. That's awesome. That's what she said. These onion rings are great. The batter is so crispy, and the onions are nice and sweet. Excellent onion rings. All right, so I just got a classic cheeseburger here. I, you know, wasn't looking for anything heavy. I just wanted a salad and, you know, no frills here. I just added cheddar cheese. It smells amazing. The bun is like already buttery. You can, you can tell they use real butter. I wasn't looking for a huge burger and I guess I didn't pay attention that they have like relish on this burger. I don't know that I've ever put relish on a burger and I'm not hating it. When I took that bite and realized it was relish, for a second I thought, oh my God, what, what am, what's about to happen? But this is actually really good. Even though I'm not a huge relish fan, something about that is helping cut through the, the fattiness of the meat. The cheese is melty. I really don't have any complaints. I'm, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. It's personally, Pier 7 is still the best burger I've had on a Royal Chef. But, you know, the buffet, I avoid that like the plague. But this, this is solid. That's really chocolatey. And you can see them hand dipping the milkshake, so that's pretty cool. They have the shake machine back there. These are good. And because we have the beverage package, they're free or, you know, included in the cost. This is awesome. I just got the regular chocolate. Now, if you know, you know. I just grabbed the plain fry. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. You know that's always the move. Fries in your milkshake. Hello. Super full. I gotta say, I mean, for 17 bucks, all of the sides, like the, the fries, the cheese fries, the chili cheese fries, the onion rings, all of that is unlimited. So if you don't like it or you want more, just tell them. The only thing that isn't refilled is the burger. But honestly, these are some hefty burgers. Get a double, you know, add whatever you want to it. Like, it, it's worth its price. Don't judge me. I can't use a straw. And I have to, I should have just asked for a spoon. I mean, it's melted enough now. I could probably just drink it. But yeah, I'm using a fork for my Oreo shake. That's real ice cream, real milk, nothing fake here. We saw them like hand dip it all. And these milkshakes are good. And honestly, get your money's worth. You got the drink package, do it up. All right, we're back in the room. We just finished with the U. Topia Ice Show. And the ice skating shows on Royal Caribbean are always a classic. They're so good. Here in the show at Utopia of the Seas, they actually had Oleg. They always have a special guest. So on Icon of the Seas, they had a, like a juggler. On this one, they had a chair balancer. And he was so good. He was amazing. The fact that he's doing it on ice on a cruise ship is absolutely crazy. But anyway, this is just another example of how good entertainment is on Royal Caribbean. Unmatched. It's just the best. <laughs> So much for watching it's the last night of the cruise sad i know but all good things must come to an end abed and i have to pack we haven't even started packing so we got to pack up our stuff so we're gonna leave you here we really hope you enjoyed this journey on utopia of the seas inaugural sailings it was so much fun thank you so much if you made it this far make sure to give this a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe to this channel if you love this type of content we have so much more coming your way but thanks for watching we love you guys and we'll see you on the next one.